Shanks is the most notorious wild card in One Piece. He's a charismatic leader and a humble natured captain who was both respected and feared throughout the One Piece world. And that's why he's one of the most influential players on the game board. But Shanks is also shrouded with mystery and uncertainty, from his motivations to the connection to the Roger Pirates and the rest of the world. We really don't know a lot about Shanks. But one thing that is abundantly clear is that Oda has narratively positioned Shanks to be the guardian of Roger's will, a person with great might and balance, and this is identified within his pacifist way of life and his differing morality from the rest of the Yonko. Shanks avoids unnecessary conflict if at any way possible. He is never the cause of unruly chaos, and his deep understanding of diplomacy has even been acknowledged by the likes of the Gorosei. After all, only a person like Shanks could stop Kaido from approaching Marineford without as much as a scratch by the way. Only Shanks could single-handedly stop the war at Marineford without causing further bloodshed. And only Shanks could be given a private audience with the Gorosei to discuss the nature of the unstoppably changing One Piece world. And he does all of this while being one of the most infamous criminals on the planet. In tandem with his ideology of pacifism is his resolve to maintain the world within an equilibrium of justice and freedom. Shanks is a natural balancer, and when his ideals are threatened, he is more than willing to take up arms, and this is shown when the mountain bandits kidnap Luffy, or his defiance to battle Akainu and the navy at Marineford should they refuse to lay down their weapons. The building blocks of Shanks' character makeup is a duality of diplomatic pacifism and his unyielding moral code, which are both extrapolated through his Nordic parallels with the Norse god Tyr. Among the Yonko, Shanks is the outlier. He's the only one that doesn't command a large fleet, he has never eaten a devil fruit, he has no explicit goal to become the Pirate King and find the One Piece, and he has no connection to rocks. Shanks is inherently a good person, morally righteous, and this is justified through his influence of Luffy's character. From what it seems, Shanks wants to maintain stability in the world and guide Roger's legacy using his power, influence, and staying true to his convictions. In the background, Shanks is working to preserve Roger's will, while balancing the multitude of forces at play in the One Piece world. For what we know about Shanks, there's also a lot that we don't know. That's why he is one of the most ambiguous characters in One Piece. And I can't wait to see how his character continues to impact the narrative of One Piece.